Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are getting ready to um, getting ready to embrace this new beginning, right? Happy September to everyone. As you guys already know, we are super thrilled and excited that um, Hollow's Eve is right around the corner. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into your reading, Virgo. Let's see how things are going to unfold for you for this month of September 2021. How are you doing, Virgo? Let me move the light a bit. I hope you guys can see a little bit better. Okay. So we're starting off here with the Eight of Wands, a lot of quick movement, opportunities, communication flowing very organically and very good. For some of you guys, you will be receiving a message that may be in the romantic spectrum in regards to love and romance. Um, <clears throat> what they are showing me, Virgo, is that for some of you guys, you may be hearing from someone that you've been either wanting or expecting some communication so that's definitely going to be opening up for you for the month of September. Now, we also do have here the two of wands. So, um, yeah, like I said, I see someone returning, someone uh, making a return into your life, wanting to come back into your life or wanting to open communication to test the waters to see if you're uh, willing and open to receive those messages or that communication. Um, very interesting energy here. Um, so what I'm seeing for you, Virgos, for the month of September, I feel that um, it's going to be a very good time for you guys to really um, keep your options open, okay, when we're talking about love, when we're talking about romance. I do see people trying to gravitate towards you or trying to get your attention, trying to open up some type of communication. For some of you guys, this could be a new person uh, that may be coming around or wanting to get or get to closer to you take it to the next level for some of you guys i do see that you may have someone uh in the back you know they're showing me kind of like in the back kind of like friend zoned or something um that is going to be revealing to you or that you're going to be able to see them in a very different light um and i feel that that comes from either them noticing that you're getting attention or you noticing that they're starting to get more attention so there is a bit of tension there, um, but I feel that it's unresolved sexual energy there. So again, um, don't be surprised if a friend or someone that is close to you uh, reveals some feelings or if you yourself start to notice that there may be some feelings there worth exploring. Now, your next card here is the King of Wands with the World card and the Seven of Wands. You may be dealing with a fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Aries, um, where there is going to be some type of elevation. For some of you guys, this could be in connection with finances and career. This could be a person that really is going to open up doors for you when we're talking about um, elevation, when we're talking about growth, when we're talking about advancement, because we have the world card right at the center. So I definitely do see opportunities coming through from this person that is going to make or open doors for you. Um, I do, however, want you to uh, maintain yourself and be very grounded, Virgo. Um, so this could be, as an example, uh, certain approaches that this person may uh, advise. Um, it's okay when people are giving us advice and it's to the best of our interest, but also they're telling you here, don't lose your way or don't lose yourself in the hype, okay? That's gonna be very important. Um, so what I mean by this is sometimes, unfortunately, when we start to deal with people that are of higher standing or people that have respect or that other people respect them, um, it kind of can, you know, uh, push us a little bit to losing uh, sight of the reality of things. Uh, you start, you know, kind of losing yourself, like I said, in the hype. Uh, if this person gets a lot of attention or if this person is very respected at work um, by them, you know, collaborating with you or taking you under under their wing um, may bring to you unsolicited attention from others. Right. Because kind of kissing ass, trying to 
uh, get closer to you because you're closer to this person. But they're also telling you don't lose sight of what you're trying to do here. It's going to be very important to re remain grounded, to remain who you really are, Virgo. Um, Seven of Wands usually indicates standing our ground, and it's, it's standing our ground, standing firm on our morals and our ethics, whatever that may mean to you, okay? Now, we also do have here the Death card and the Eight of pentacles here with the four of cups so i definitely do see a major transformation when it, we're talking about career and finances for some of you guys it could be the transitioning it could be getting in a better much better offer um and there's going to be some move in in regards to your career um not necessarily in the physical aspect it may mean um uh, moving from as an example from a department to a different department because you're getting some type of elevation some type of uh taking it to the next level basically uh, with the death card here and the eight of pentacles major transformation when we're talking about finances and career um i do however see here the four of cups so what they're telling you is stay focused for the month of september virgo it's going to be very important do not get distracted um with hype they keep telling me hype so for some of you guys it could be that you start to deal with different people that people are you know exposing you to other people or to different environments or even being very social uh don't get wrapped up into that type of hype because it's going to mess with your focus remain focused uh it's going to be crucial for you guys to remain um, focus on the goals that you're trying to achieve for the month of September so you don't let up good opportunities pass you by. Okay, Virgo? I hope that this gives you insight and I wish you guys the very best. We'll see each other soon. Bye!